woman is an enemy commanding officer? Ah, oh, I've heard about her. If I remember correctly, her name is... It can't be. The commanding gunner of Rundell's 3rd Division, Kalorum! No doubt about it. That's the one they call Cruel Trigger. Lucia. Oh, my name has reached even the remote regions. What an honor. So, tell the King of Horn. Tell him that this fortress has been given up to Lucia. Hurry to the castle! We need reinforcements as soon as possible! R right Are you okay? Don't worry. She just grazed me. The Lucia I've heard of wouldn't miss at this distance. Well, it seems the cruel trigger isn't quite what she's been chalked up to be. Hey, did you hear that? They said Lady Lucia isn't all that skilled. To think they'd provoke Lady Lucia. These horn chumps really are asking for it. Asking for it? What on earth are you talking about? We're taking the fortress from here. However... Understood. This lot will keep them alive. Keep us alive? You plan to use us as hostages? Feigning ignorance, I see. That's what you were hoping for from the beginning, right? Gods, I'm jealous! Jealous? Naturally! You're lucky enough to be the subject of Lady Lucia's torture! Watch your mouth. It's not torture. It's playtime. Playtime? <laughs> yeah, that has a nice ring to it. If you say it like that, I want to be a horned soldier too. Well then, let's begin. We'll enjoy this as much as we can. We heard just a short while ago that a messenger arrived from a fortress on the national border of Rundal to the west. You hear of things quickly. The fortress fell after being attacked by Rundal's third division, Calorum. Do not tell me that you are going west to that fortress. I will command Horn's second division, Nitor. That is to be expected. Hmm. I did not reclaim Nitor from Glas to be stationed in the castle. Reclaim? Nitor is the force that my father established. Glaz snatched away with foul trickery. There is no proof of that claim. If the soldiers had any qualms about Glaz, they kept their silence. But, but that bastard... I understand. I authorized the duel between you and Glaz for that reason. <sighs> I am anxious, Adelard. Anxious? How so? You may have become the commander of Nitor, but its soldiers are loyal to Glas. Leading Nitor alone on an expedition may put you in danger. You are mistaken, King Rob. That is precisely what I am hoping will happen. This is a good opportunity to educate the soldiers on who is the better commander. Hmm. Now then, 2nd Division Nitor is departing! <laughs> Brother! I don't need you to see me off, Salir. But I'm not seeing you off. You're wearing such a short skirt again? Oh? Could it be you're worried that other men will take a gander at me? <sighs> Anyways.
anyway. I'm coming with you whether you like it or not. I'm not going to be separated from my big brother. I've always given up until now, but this time is different. This time? Hey, brother, you really haven't noticed? Aren't there a lot of guys in the expeditionary unit this time who used to work under Gloss? If that was his intention all along, this is a good chance for me. Hmm? Does that mean you have some sort of plan? Like using those guys as decoys and wiping them all out? <laughs> That's also a good idea. Anyway! Be your guard, brother. Salir. There are still a lot of Glazes underlings here in Horn, too. Wouldn't it be even more dangerous if I stayed behind? <sighs> I suppose you have a point, but only this once. Yay! Well then, let's go. Hey, did you hear? It seems that dumb broad is traveling with us. Adelard's sister. If I remember correctly, her name is Salir. I guess he thought it was too dangerous to leave her behind in Horn. The brother is just as dumb as the sister. Let's deal with those two during the expedition to the Western Fortress. We'll get Glas reinstated as commander. Aye. Then I can go back to lining my pockets without all the toil and trouble. So, where do we kill them? Let's recapture the fortress first. Then we'll catch them when they're off guard. Just as I thought. Even so, I wonder, do they really think they can deal with us so easily? Hey, brother. Are we at the fortress yet? Almost. Once we come out of these woods. Seriously? Does she think this is a field trip? How annoying. Did you say something? Nope. Why, did you hear something? Just simply talking to myself. <sighs> Be quiet. I smell blood. Huh? Ah! Brother, wait! He's still breathing. Hey, pull yourself together. Oh! Lord Adelard came for us! What's the situation? Please... Please be careful... They are... Lucia's... Lucia? So... It's her... Brother? Who's Lucia? She manages Rundall's 3rd Division, Kalora. I've heard that she's a master marksman. Fortunately, your wound seems shallow. Yes, somehow. It seems only my right shoulder was shot. What about you? I was also shot in the right shoulder, but the wound is not deep. Could it be that Lucia isn't the marksman that rumor says she is? Hmm. Well, what do we do, brother? We'll charge the fortress before they realize that we're here. Hey now, are you serious? Frightened, are we? Wh what did you say? 
They attacked your comrades, did they not? If you bear any grudges toward me, shelve them for now. <sighs> Once we've liberated the fortress and our brethren, then you may do as you wish. You good for that? Yes. All units, charge! Wait a moment. All units? Commander, are you taking up the assault as well? Naturally. What? Did that Glaz always swagger in from behind or something? <sighs> well then, move out! Cut through this forest and take back the fortress from the Rundal forces! Phew! We've almost made it to the fortress! It seems like it'll be an easy feat to take back the fortress, since that so-called shooter Lucia isn't taking aim at us. If that's the case, all the better. But... Ah! Salir! My right shoulder's been shot. But I'm fine. The wound is shallow. Your right shoulder, just like the others. Ah! Could it be... Be that Lucia is purposefully aiming at our right shoulders? Why are we hiding here, sneaking around, huh? It's our best chance, I suppose. What? What the hell are you thinking? At a time like this? Wait! Don't move. Figures. Not even you can take on this few opponents at the same time. Uh! Uh! W what's wrong? Idiot, get down quickly! Do you not understand? They were shot. From the top of the fortress. From there! Now we're in plain sight. That wench, Lucia, is enjoying tormenting us. <sighs> How do you know? Everyone without exception has been shot in the right shoulder, correct? She must be pleased with herself, watching them suffer. <gasps> so, what do you intend to do? Escape back to Horn and be tried for treason? Or line your pockets with the mouth-watering bounty on Lucia? Bounty? First I've heard of it. I intend for us to storm the fortress and eliminate Lucia. The bounty goes to the one who brings her down. A bounty? You really going to pay up? Glaz and I are different. I keep my promises. However, there can only be one to bring her down. <laughs> well then, make your choice. The enemy is a remarkable marksman. But, if another group became her target, the others would be able to move in closer. Then cutting her down shouldn't be that difficult. Commander, you're going with us, right? I've said it before. Glaz and I are different. Then, I'm going. If we rush in all at once... Right. No matter how good a shot she is, that'll overwhelm her. So it's decided. We commence the all-out attack on the fortress. Our target is Lucia. My shoulder! Damn! Mine as well! The commander of Calorum. Lucia, I take it? And you are? No, wait, I think I have an idea. The commander of Nitor. Adelard, right? The Vermilion Devil. 
so you used your own comrades as decoys to get this far. Calling them decoys is regrettable. If life is truly so precious, then one should not step foot on the battlefield. <laughs> the motivation behind this attack was neither to take this fortress nor to take out Horn's soldiers. Isn't that so? Oh, so you've gotten it. I wanted to see which force would come to the rescue and how fast. That's all I needed to know. I could take a fort as sad as this anytime. Even now, you're putting on a brave front? You're the last one left. You think you stand a chance against me one-on-one? -on -one? Of course. Do you know why they call me the Vermilion Devil? Allow me to show you. If you're that eager to die... Then die right here! Amazing! He's repelling lead bullets like they're nothing! C commander I must say you're quite skilled. But you're no more than a spellblade. You're already a bit behind the times. We'll be invading Horn shortly. But you don't have to worry. When we do, I'll be the one to kill your family. Salir! Is that the name of someone you want to protect? <laughs> so this one is Salir. Interesting. Come on, Salir. Let's end it here. <laughs> Our first time fighting hand in hand, huh? Do be careful not to say things that could be misconstrued. Wh what is this woman? Doesn't she feel pain? But we have had some effect. Did you think I could be stopped by the likes of you? Big talk for someone backed into the corner. I admit you almost had me. I suppose you're fighting with the power of love. Ding, ding, ding! That's exactly right! We're siblings. It doesn't matter. This kind of power of love, I don't dislike it. Oh, that's unexpected. Don't get the wrong idea. I love nothing more than squashing and smashing all those needless feelings of love and whatnot people have for each other. You should get a better hobby. If that's the case, shall we finish what we started, or...? For me, there's one more act that I'm fond of. I always save the sweetest parts for last. I'm leaving this battle. What? You're just going to run away? Watch your mouth, little girl. That is, unless you want me to turn it into a hornet's nest. Mm. This lot gets to taste Lady Lucia's torture again! I'm so envious of you guys! If Lord Jaden knew that they were people like you wretches, he would surely be delighted as well. You lot, you can get up any time now. Huh? Did everyone survive? Damn! I miss my chance of that bounty. But you could attack me here and take it by force, right? No. I'd rather not. You're definitely different than that Glas pig. Yeah, that's true. He only ever gave us orders. 
It was always us that met with danger. But you fought with us. When she took us all out, you didn't even think about running and leaving us behind. I commend your efforts on this occasion, Adelard. Your Highness, your words are much appreciated. There is one more thing. The soldiers of Nitor have confessed the many wrongdoings of the previous commander, Glass. Yet they kept silent to such an extent until now. Do you have any idea why? Hmm. Perhaps they simply all realized the right and narrow path. <laughs> With their confessions, we shall be able to bring Glass to justice. Your father shall be avenged at last. I shall be entrusting you with Nitor from here on out, along with Salir. What? With Salir? Your Highness? The soldiers of Nitor all spoke highly of Salir's great service during the mission. Uh, why, that little... She must have intimidated them all into praising her. <laughs> 